Hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Don't you worry. A couple more after this one, but they're well worth a watch because uh, not only do you, especially this one's a treat because there's two things to watch out. While I can't remember his name, Stephen Timms or Timms, is holding his feet to the fire because he's over the last couple of times he's been in PMQs, he's just told a barefaced lie about. Um, record numbers of people being in employment and he uses little scintilla of a to sum up, on the payroll nonsense and he's as having his feet held to the fire and he does what he normally does just blusters his way through watch the guy behind him his face facial features are really really interesting and the second bit to listen to is when you can tell when somebody's getting under his skin it's a certain noise he makes really really interesting it's a belter is this one Stephen Timms thank you chair um, can I just start by welcoming two recent decisions of the government one to make permanent the extension of free school meals to children in families with no recourse to public funds and the other to extend the widen the online safety bill to uh, tackle scam adverts. Both of the yes. subjects we've talked about before at these meetings. That's right. Welcome. Yes. All I asked about this, I got the feeling this is just to put you at ease, you know, for when I really go go after you, put you in a false sense of security. I think you'll say, "What a wonderful job you've been doing, Bodge." Ah, don't last long. Welcome those uh, decisions. I, I wanted to ask you today first um, about a, a letter that was sent to you by the chair of the UK Statistics Authority, Sir David Norgrove, yes. on the 24th of February. You mentioned earlier we haven't got enough people in, in jobs uh, at the moment, we haven't got enough people, you know, there are lots of vacancies. Um, his letter to you, dated the 24th of February, um, said this, first couple of sentences. You said at Prime Minister's questions yesterday that there are now more people in employment than before the pandemic began. According to the latest ONS figures, it is wrong to claim that there are now more people in work than before the pandemic began. The increase in the number of people who are on payrolls is more than offset by the reduction in the number of people who are self-employed. Do, do you accept that correctly? Yes, uh, and I, I, I do, and I, that's why I took particular care. Uh, Emphasize particular care. In other words, if trying to make out a yes, I know what I'm doing. Uh, today, uh, mindful as I am of, uh, of Sir David's. Um, uh, um, uh, Look at his face behind him. <laughs> chastisement. Uh, on all occasions, I, I, I stressed that it was payroll. Uh, employment that I was talking about, but there, I mean, there, I, there, there were 400,000 more, there are now 600,000 more uh, people on uh, the payroll than there were uh, before the pandemic began, and that is not half bad uh, when you consider... Say that, wonder around, I call that the, who am I, where am I look? Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing here? Who are you? <laughs> Priceless. Uh, what we were predicting, you know, we, 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 we was, everybody was talking about 12% unemployment, uh, yeah. I seem to recall. Yeah. Um, his point in the letter is that the increase in the number of people on payrolls is more than offset by the reduction in the number of people who are self-employed. And you accept that that's correct? Well, uh, yeah. I think that the, uh, my, 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 big, my overall picture, uh, I think, is, is right, that the, um, the employment record of the government has been absolutely outstanding when you consider yeah. uh, that people were seriously predicting that after covid uh, we were yeah. going to have uh, not only huge backlogs in in our uh, public in, in in healthcare but also unemployment running at 12 yeah. percent uh, that has that has been very very far from the case I, mean, it's, it's certain, I completely agree it's understandable why it is that employment now is lower than it was before the pandemic i just wanted to confirm that you recognise that total employment is now less than it was before the pandemic began. Well, unemployment is actually... Un no, un employment. Employment is what I'm asking about. I mean, if I <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> uh, you, you, you stop putting my lies to pieces with you. I, I'm Budger Johnson. You should be kneel at my feet, kiss my butt and uh, lick my boot. Because I came from Eton, you know. 
if I can, the, the figures yes. from the, the latest statistics are that the number of people in employment most recently is 32.493 million. The quarter immediately before the pandemic it was 33.073 million. So employment, there is a, there is employment a, now is less than it was there before is, the pandemic there, began. You're making a very important point. I mean, it depends how you look at this. Yes, depends how you look at it. You have your facts and statistics to back up that I'm talking utter bollocks. But I have my alternative facts, and that's all that matters, because my Bodger fans will love it. <laughs> what a fucking joke. Is, uh is now back down to... Which is the thing it that, is. that it is. when, when uh, we were growing up, that was the thing that we were worried about, yeah. Uh, yeah. because that was the terrifying thing that happened. You've never had to worry about anything, Bodge. That my cows are you man of the people. Whenever you've failed at anything, you've fallen upwards. You've been sacked from two jobs where being rather economical with the truth, or let's just be honest, being a flat out liar got you sacked. If any other normal person here had have done that. I think they'd find it very, very difficult to find employment. But not you. You fall upwards, Bodge. <laughs> Look at that face. They were, they were slung out of their jobs. Yeah. And uh, it was awful. In the, the 80s and the 90s. And, and we remember that. Well, now that is, that is low. Yeah. That's back down now to pre-pandemic level. Yeah. That's 3.9%. Yeah. What, we've, what we've got at the but moment... Employment is still is, less than it was so before em, the pandemic. Although payroll employment is higher... You, what you're pointing to uh, is a very interesting thing, which is um, the self-employed, uh, for reasons that um, you know everybody's trying to, to get a handle on, it, it looks as though large numbers of people, uh, possibly in their 50s, yep. uh, are deciding that what with one thing or another, yep. uh, they want to do something else. Yep. And, and some of them and, have gone to the payrolls, which is why the payrolls are higher. Some of them perhaps have gone on to the, to, to yeah. the payrolls. Yeah. Uh, some, some, of them, some, of them, some of them are, are, are doing um, other things. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so... If some of them are doing... Things. So, what, so, so, so actually what we want to do is to find ways of helping those people back into, back into work. Right. And... Um, and, and get them because they have fantastic skills yeah. to, to on, contribute. On the employment point, you have said in the, the comments nine times, I think, that the number of people in work is higher now than it was before the start of the pandemic. I think you've recognised this afternoon that those statements were incorrect. I think I have repeatedly, and I, I, I think I took steps to, 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 to correct the record. Look at his face, sir. You're lying your fucking head off. <laughs> so you're talking utter bollocks, caught with your pants down, and what's for it? Turns around and he'll ask him, I, I have um, uh, clarified the situation, haven't I? And the bloke didn't commit. But first thing is, you think, why do you need to ask him? Earlier, have you? Oh, I, didn't, I, I hadn't seen. I, I think I did. Yeah. I, I think I think I think I, think I, I did. But I, I've, so, I've I think I did. It was very. I've been very punctilious to to talk about. I've been very punctilious. What a fucking idiot. Payroll employment, uh, Mister Tims. But there is there is a there is a very interesting thing, which is that people in there. There's, there's something happened. Yeah. Which is that people, uh, in uh, a certain stage in their life, are not. <laughs> Did he look drunk there? <laughs> I'm not with this. Fucking and not and not deciding to go back into the yeah. uh, into well, the labour force now that is, and that is so we have we have a, we have vacancies now at one point two five million yeah. record job vacancies yeah. and we and and frankly those those people have some of the skills we need yeah. Yeah. And we're probably short in this economy yeah. and one of the one of the pressures that we have on uh, on supply chains and on inflation is we're probably short about five hundred thousand pairs of hands yeah. to do crucial things mm -hmm. and many of those pairs of hands belong. To those people in their fifties who've decided to do something else. Now, I, I one of our to, challenges I, I, is to get those people back into work. That's, I completely ag agree with that. Um, uh, and uh, can, moving on. Um, Clearly, he's not going to let him go, is he? Citizen Advice has calculated that a, a single unemployed person was spending just over fifteen percent of their benefit on energy bills 
in 2020. It's going to be 25% in April, and it could be up to 47% when the cap goes. But you see nice things about me. I'm the budge. I'm the budger. Stop holding my feet to the fire for my lies and bollocks I'm told him. Talk nicely about me. Goes up again in October. Why was there no help in the spring statement for people dependent on out of work benefits? Yeah, I, look, I, I, I know how tough it is for, 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 for people. No, you don't, Bodge. You've no idea how tough it is. You were born on third base and you think you've scored a home run. You're the type of person who would come on as a sub in an FA Cup final for the last 10 seconds of a, of a game where the team 3-0 up, cruising, cigars in their mouths, and uh, you come on for the last 10 seconds. And then once the final was uploaded, you'll demand to be, to be given man of the match, demand the first one to hold aloft the trophy, and then you'll demand to take it home. That's the sort of... But you do not have a clue how tough it is to stop pretending. You're a fucking idiot. Well, to meet the costs of, of energy, and um, I think that you're, you're, you're raising, a, 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 again, an, a, a very reasonable uh, point. In other words, stop making my life difficult with these really difficult questions about that I have to ask him. Look at that. Who oh, am I? Where am I? Look. Looks like he's... I don't know what he's doing, but he looks an idiot. And you have to decide where you're going to put your, your fiscal firepower, given that it's we don't want to taxes uh, and we don't want to borrow anymore. So, so how are you, how, what are you going to prioritise? We're going to prioritise our donor base instead of the people who are supposed to govern and look after and um, make sure they have the best in life. We, we prioritise our donor base. And uh, who are you going to, who are you going to uh, make sure that you uh, target in order to do, have the maximum economic benefit for the whole country? Yes, donor mates. Uh, what we think very strongly is that is you're, you're better off uh, helping people into uh, into work and there you go that's all it's about well those who can't work and uh unable to work whether you're disabled fucking tough get to fucking work and if you have the strange notion where you want, want to go to sleep on a night why the fuck are you going to sleep shouldn't you be going out to work until you fucking drop fucking pleb what an idiot. <laughs> oh, I think this video's gone on long enough. But what an idiot. I love that. Uh, and that man's grin behind him thinking, you're talking out of your ass," Which is not new for our bodge, is it? He talks out of his bollocks anyway. <laughs> anyway, I shall leave the video here and uh, hope you had some good fun. And uh, till the next time, take care.